Now in our previous tutorial, I have discussed about PHP OOP constructor method. I mean constructor function. Okay. You can call constructor method or function both cause when you write this constructor inside the class then it will call as a method okay and when you write outside the class then it will call as a function however now in this part i am going to show you the structure method okay i mean the structure function in our previous part you can see php op tutorial php constructor function you will get all the lay tutorial in the playlist tab our channel youtube.com slash wcoderzone and then the playlist tab php op tutorial for beginners full okay in this playlist you will get all the videos however let's go to see live in here in here you can see our previous code here will be the structure okay and in here person public uh, suppose in here we can write you can see constructor and person name this is suppose all are same and in here just create an another suppose a property public and i can write suppose username okay username and in here just create a method you can see this is the constructor method when you write this under the class okay i mean between the class then it will you can call the method and you can call this method but when you write these are outside of class then all our name will be function this is the function custom function and uh, this is the constructor function okay however you can call both function or method public and i can write a function suppose public function suppose i can write suppose insert user name okay insert username suppose i write as example and in here just uh, suppose i write a variable suppose uh, username okay uh, suppose username underscore value you can write anything as you wish okay username underscore value or username suppose username and in here you can see i have created a property you need to assign this value in here okay suppose um, this our username okay this property this username equal our this variable will be okay username if i write a destructor method suppose public function destruct okay construct and destruct must will be double underscore okay and in here suppose i can write a condition if condition if suppose our username okay this username this username okay this property this username i can write a condition suppose not empty not empty this username if not empty this username this username means our property i mean when our this property will not empty okay then suppose if you insert your username into database as like same i am showing you that just as an example okay suppose you want to insert your username into database okay in future i will show you live project and uh, mysql query then you can easily understand however here you can see our property public property username okay public function destruct not empty this username means our this property okay and this keyword refer this person class okay i hope if you check my previous all tutorial you will easily understand this tutorial okay however uh, this username if not empty this username then just echo suppose suppose i write username inserted successfully okay 
suppose always keep in mind that uh, a destruct method will execute after executing your previous all code successfully okay when loaded i mean execute your previous all code successfully then at the last execute your destruct method i mean destruct function actually this is the last minute action okay i mean last action will be always executed the destruct you can set okay and now you need to call your username this method okay so for calling this suppose just comment out this our person name our object is new person and the object operator and then our method name okay now you need to pass some value you can see i have right argument value here you can see username so i can pass here suppose username equal to just remove this is our previous code and here i can write suppose username equal to suppose i write username one two okay as example you can see i have just called this our method name username insert username this method and passing the value you can see argument value username 12 and here just catch this argument value and for that i have just write a variable username and now i want to assign this username value in our property you can see username so for that just write this keyword this username means our this property okay is equal our argument value username okay now this username assign into this username i mean this public property okay and finally if this username is not empty i mean this value is inserted properly i mean successfully then finally load our destruct method and give a message you can see echo username inserted successfully okay suppose something like that and if i refresh our browser sorry you can see uncountable argument zero to few arguments function in our construct method oh sorry in our previous you can see construct method i have passing some value and for that generating errors i hope you can easily understand because uh, in our previous part i have showed about this okay in our previous tutorial i have showed about this okay I mean constructor method or if I just comment out this okay and pass a name equal to just comment out this okay or if you can now you can easily understand just comment out this okay uh, previous or you can remove it however now if I refresh our browser you can see username inserted successfully message is printed okay you can see username inserted sorry spelling mistake inserted successfully okay however you can see the construct i'm sorry the destruct method execute at the last of the last call i mean last call and also if you unset uh, this object just write unset okay unset and if you refresh you can see it will middle username inserted successfully i mean your all previous code will execute successfully okay you can see i have write a condition not empty username this username is not empty i mean must assign some value in here okay so our value we are passing username 12 this successfully assign in here and for that echo this username okay that means easily understand uh, this public property username is not empty because we are passing username 12 and assign this property okay successfully and for that we are getting a message username inserted successfully but if i remove this uh, value suppose this value just remove okay now you can see we are not passing any kinds of value okay so for that this public property username this property is empty okay now this empty because we are don't passing any kinds of value from here you can see easily understand please try to understand okay we are don't passing any kinds of value from here you can see okay this is empty so 
this variable will be empty i mean property and our condition you can see in our destruct condition finally loaded this destruct condition not empty but our property is now empty then uh, print this message okay okay but now this property is empty so don't print it any kinds of messages so if i refresh our browser you can see no messages cause our property is now empty so you can easily understand uh, that our destruct method will load at the last action okay i mean last your all code will execute and finally it will lastly execute and you can set messages or you can also assign variable uh, sorry you can assign session you can assign close your database connection message okay when you close database connection message something like that okay you can write uh, suppose my sql underscore close okay it will give you the close message when you when your last connection of the database is will closed okay so i hope you understand that how to work with destructor and also in future you will get a lots tutorial about it and real project how to implement this okay so practice it thank you